Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is CJ Raymer and I write new adult and women's contemporary fiction. Thank you for joining me today. And today is going to be a little different. I've spent the last couple of days since my last video doing a lot of cross stitching and embroidery because Christmas. But today I got back in the writing seat for a while and I got some good words in, so yay me. Uh, but what I wanted to talk about today doesn't have anything to do with my writing or my reading, doesn't have anything to do with me going gray. Yes, ladies, I know I owe you one of those videos. I think my last one was at my nine month mark and I have surpassed the year mark and I'm I'm actually loving it. I will get one of those out to you soon, okay? So what I'm going to talk to you guys about today um, is a little, well, it's very, it, it's personal, um, again, but <laughs> I just really felt like I needed to say something. And I wanted to talk about this subject back in July, um, but things just got a little bit crazy around here and I just didn't have the time to sit down and do it. So I chose to do it today. It's it's about cancer. You'll notice I'm wearing peach today. It's not my particularly favorite color on myself, but I'm wearing it today for a reason because September is Uterine Cancer Awareness Month, also known as endometrial cancer. Ten years ago this past July I had surgery for cancer of the uterus or like I said endometrial cancer and the surgery was a success. Thank God. I'm truly blessed to be ten years cancer free. Uterine cancer is rare and it affects only about 200,000 women um, Per year and it usually happens after menopause. It was almost missed in my diagnosis but because I had a very intuitive doctor she said she just felt urged to do a biopsy and she said I'm sure you'll have no problem because what I'm looking for would not affect someone as young as yourself or it's very rare that it would and at the time I was 41 but she did it anyway and thank God she did the biopsy came back positive I had uterine cancer so I wanted to take a moment and just speak with everyone out there about early detection being key. And to explain a little bit about endometrial cancer because it's not one of the cancers that you really hear a whole lot about. And with September being Uterine Cancer Awareness Month, I just thought it would be appropriate that I share my feelings about it. Endometrial cancer is a type of cancer that begins in the uterus and it begins in the layer of the cells that form the endometrial lining. It's sometimes called uterine cancer. If endometrial cancer is discovered early, removing the uterus surgically often cures it and that's what happened with me. I had a complete, a total hysterectomy and that is what saved my life. I was very fortunate and that they found it at the early stages. They were, my gynecological oncologist was pretty sure he was going to have to remove lymph nodes as well. But they were able to get everything and they didn't have to take any lymph nodes. And I was so fortunate <laughs> that I didn't have to endure chemotherapy, you know, or any type of radiation treatments. So that was amazing. 
The reason why I have decided to do this video is because I just want to raise some awareness. Ladies, if you notice anything changing in your body, just please don't dismiss those changes as nothing. You know, th they very well could be nothing, but there's always a chance it could be something. With all cancer, early detection is key. And my oncologist told me that if I had waited just six months, my story would have been completely different. For you men out there, if there's any women in your life that have noticed changes in their body, but they're in a state of denial maybe, or fear, please encourage them. Please lovingly encourage them to go and get checked out. It makes all the difference in the world. Well, that was my short little video for today. I just wanted to share my experience and to encourage you women out there to do what you need to do to take care of you because there's a whole lot of people that love you and you have a lot left to give. All denial and fear will do if there is something wrong is make it more difficult for you in the long run. So please take my advice and make sure that if at any time in the future or if you're currently noticing things now, take appropriate steps. As always, I'm keeping it real. Thank you all for being a part of my life. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. Share this video with somebody that you think might benefit from it. All of my social media will be in the description. Thank you guys so much. You have a great day.